Hello, welcome to this video on continuity. We're gonna do a typical type of question where you have a piecewise function and you're asked about making sure that the function is continuous everywhere and having some particular constants and finding out what those constants are. My name is Nakai Rimmer and I'm happy to help you through this journey. All right, let's go ahead. The function is three different functions depending on which X values you have. The function is a piecewise function. So what I like to do with piecewise functions is write it in number line format. So it's, it's broken at two and at four. So we break up the number line at two and four. Anything smaller than two, you're the parabola, one plus x squared. Anything between two and four, including two officially, you're the line, x plus a plus b. Anything that's bigger than four, you're the root function, root of x plus five a. And so this question is asking, what would A and B need to be in order for this to be a function that's continuous everywhere? Each individual piece is continuous, where it's defined at. The polynomial pieces, they're continuous everywhere. The root will be continuous as long as it's defined. So what really matters is the breakpoint. And so how can we have the parabola meet up to the line and then meet up to the root? What A and B make that happen? That's the question. So I find the number line is helpful. You don't have to do it, but I find it's helpful because we're going to do left-hand limit and right-hand limits and make sure that they agree. And so you can physically see who's on the left and who's on the right rather than the vertical way that we traditionally write piecewise functions. Okay. All right. So as long as you're away from two and four, your function is continuous. So let's focus all of our attention on two to four. Let's check two first. At X equals two. The left-hand limit would be using the parabola, while the right-hand limit would be using the line. So the limit from the left has to equal to what you get by plugging in x equals 2 to the parabola. 2 squared is 4. 1 plus 4, that's a 5. The parabola is headed to 5 from the left. From the right, the parabola is headed to 5 plus a plus b. So these two have to equal each other. The parabola and the line have to meet up. It doesn't tell us directly what A and B are. What it does tells us, though, it, it tells us that, that uh, there's a relationship between A and B. The fact that A and B must add up to 3. OK, great. Then we move to 4. We do the same thing. That'll give us another equation about A and B, or maybe just something we can solve for one of the variables. And therefore, then, two equations, two unknowns, we'll be able to track down exactly what's going on with them. Okay? At 4, from the left, you should be using the line and plug a x equals 4 into that and get 4 plus a plus b. From the right, you should be using the root and plug into that x equals 4 and get 4 plus 5a all underneath a root. These need to be equal to each other. For the function to be continuous, they have to meet up. Can't be a jump, can't be removed, can't be infinite discontinuity. So we set them equal to each other. But we know the value of a plus b is a 3. Well, that's convenient. a plus b happens to be an also in this equation. Let's just take advantage of that. Let's substitute in. a plus b is 3. Now we have 7. We don't have b anymore. We just have an equation just about a. 7 is equal to the square root of 4 plus 5a. Square both sides. 49 is equal to 4 plus 5a. Subtract the 4. 45 is equal to 5a. Divide by the 5. a better be 9. If the parabola, I mean, if the line and the root are going to meet up. And if a is 9, we can backtrack and figure out what b is. They're supposed to add up to 3. Well, that means b must be negative. b must be negative 6. All right, so a must be 9 and b must be negative 6. When they are that, you'll have the parabola meeting the line, meeting the root. And you can verify it. You can go in Desmos and graph it. Here's a nice way to graph piecewise functions in Desmos. Parabola meeting the line, meeting the root function. It doesn't look like the last one's a root function, but it is a root function. With a being 9 and b being negative 6, the, the functions end up being um, x plus 3 for the line and root of x plus 45 for the uh, 
the root function. All right. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Nakaya Rimmer. Um, we'll have um, the intermediate value theorem. We'll do that in the next video. That'll be our last video on continuity. Um, if I do it now, the video will be too long. Um, please uh, like and subscribe. Comment down below. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.